say. What is going on everyone? Welcome back to another video. Today is a big day, a day a lot of you have been waiting for. We are finally moving the new saltwater pond over to the new house. We've been waiting a very long time for this, but before we get into that, I do wanna shout out Dolphin Fiberglass Ponds for making this all happen. They make small fiberglass ponds all the way up to a giant SeaWorld fiberglass ponds. So if you're interested in anything similar to what I have or something smaller, bigger, whatever it may be, their links will be in the description down below. Go check them out and let them know Nick sent you. Now, let's get into the video and go pick up our new saltwater pond. All right, getting ready to move this big old fiberglass pond. This thing is absolutely massive. We got the panel right there. It is in two pieces, but we got this big old truck that we're gonna be attempting to put it in. So yeah, let's get to work. But are we getting from the base? You might no, be, be careful though, if you get it all, it's fiberglass. Did it crack? Yeah. You gotta be careful. Three, two, one. Bro, not a snake, a lizard. No lizard? Where? <laughs> it's a legless lizard. That's a lizard? Legless. Yeah, it's a legless lizard. Yeah, it's a legless lizard. That's cool, bro. Someone needs to be up there. Here, somebody's gotta get the sign. People right here. I'll go, I'll go with you. We'll go right here. Alright, and then we'll go right here. Alright. Someone else, somebody needs to be able to pull. Yeah. Or push. Yo, yo, Tommy, you get on the back of our Plan number two, you all didn't work, so we now have a tow truck attempting to uh, get this big old pond on. So, see how this goes. Sure, what we were gonna do with this pond at first, four months ago, we were debating a warehouse, 
for a house. As you guys know, we ended up getting a beautiful piece of property and we were able to move this massive pond into this massive garage. So this is where everything's about to start. So make sure you guys are subscribed so you don't miss out on any future videos we film with this new solar. Holy cow. This thing looks insane. Like, absolutely insane. I'm at loss of words. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys want to see in the new saltwater pond. This thing is a lot bigger than our last one, almost two times the size of it. So I want to see thousands of comments down below of what we should put in this thing. I'm definitely going through them. This is the exact spot it's going to be once it's actually fiberglass together. We still have that step. Once that steps over, we pretty much get the scape in this thing, getting the filtration ready, and then we have to let it cycle for about two weeks. We're going to bring a lot of the biofiltration from the old pond over to this pond. That way it can help cycle faster and we can get the fish all transferred over from the old saltwater pond. And also make sure you're subscribed for that because we are gonna be transferring all those sharks, all those big groupers, emperor snapper, eels. It's gonna be absolutely epic. It's definitely gonna be hectic too, but we gotta do it. We gotta get them over. Once they're in there, they're gonna be absolutely stoked. Now that the pond is here, I'm gonna give you guys a quick little rundown of the plans I do have. So pretty much, I wanna take all this exposed fiberglass and do like a gray brick. I think that would look really, really cool. And that's pretty much just to decorate the outside so you don't see a plain fiberglass pond. The only thing you will see is pretty much this acrylic window right here. We do have stuff all over the place right now. We moved some of the animals over and I am gonna be updating you guys on that in an upcoming video. But pretty much this will be like your access area to the filtration. There's also another access area on that side we left like three feet on each side just so we can get back here work on the filter clean it out whatever we pretty much have to do but that's all gonna be hidden we're gonna put up walls right here with like a little door that way you can access the filtration but the walls are gonna be flush with the pond and the wall will be cut out perfectly around those pipes and all that filtration will be hidden which will be pretty nice because at the last pond, it was all exposed, pretty loud while filming. That way, we can lock it away, we won't hear it as much, and it's very clean looking. Other than that, get a good look at the inside on this thing. We did a whole pressure wash cleaning, and it looks amazing. We now just have to get the two panels fiberglass together. I have a guy coming out in about two days to do that. It is a three-day process, so once that is done, we are going to get the scape in this thing, get the filtration set up. And yeah, it's gonna just, it's pretty much just gonna all go down. You guys are gonna witness the whole build. It's gonna be awesome. Just wait till we do some like live feedings and we're able to see all the big fish hunting the bait from an underwater angle. Okay, I'll make a deal with you guys. 20,000 likes on this video and we will get bonnet head sharks for the new saltwater pond. I know I said it like a year ago for the old saltwater pond. That thing was not big enough. This thing is. So if you guys wanna see that, 20,000 likes and we'll make it happen. Like I said, we are still in the process of moving a lot of the animal enclosures over here. We do have the freshwater tank, Ralph, or turtles, and we're gonna be building a lot of new enclosures too. So look forward to those videos. But with that being said, we got our new saltwater pond over to the new house, and things are about to get epic here. So make sure you guys are subscribed. And with that being said, we'll see y'all in the next one. See ya!